Hello guys, I am Educatix, in this video we are going to watch the summary of the book, The Motley Fool, You Have More Money Than You Think, Reviews says that this book is a practical guide to smart financial decision making and maximizing your money, and this book is a must read for anyone looking to take control of their finances and secure their financial future. So let's dive into the video The first takeaway from The Motley Fool, You Have More Money Than You Think is the importance of starting to invest as early as possible. Time is one of the most powerful forces in investing, and the earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. This is due to the power of compound interest, which states that the interest you earn on an investment not only earns interest on the original investment, but also on the accumulated interest. By starting early, even small investments can grow significantly over time and you can take advantage of the long-term growth potential of the markets. Additionally, starting early gives you the ability to take on more risk, and obviously, high risk is high returns. The second takeaway from The Motley Fool, you have more money than you think is the understanding of the power of compound interest. Compound interest is when the interest earned on an investment is added to the principal, and the interest on the new balance is also earned, resulting in exponential growth over time. This means that the longer your money is invested, the more it grows, and the more money you have in the long run. For example, if an investor invests $100,000 and earns a 5% return annually over 50 years, they will end up with $717,858. However, if they earn a 10% return annually over the same time period, they will end up with $4,638,542. This significant difference is due to the power of compounding, where the investor earns interest on their interest over time. The 10% return results in more than 6 times the final amount compared to the 5% return. This process continues to compound over time, resulting in significant growth. It's important to understand that compound interest is not a get-rich-quick scheme and it takes time for your investments to grow and compound. The earlier you start, the better. Compound interest applies not only to traditional financial products such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds but also simple savings accounts. Even small contributions to savings accounts can add up over time, thanks to the power of compound interest. The third takeaway from The Motley Fool, is the importance of creating a budget. A budget is a financial plan that helps you manage your money by outlining your income and expenses, and it is an essential tool for achieving your financial goals. By creating a budget, you can see exactly where your money is going and make adjustments as necessary. When creating a budget, it's important to be realistic and honest with yourself. Many people make the mistake of underestimating their expenses, which can lead to overspending and falling short of their financial goals. It's also important to make sure your budget is flexible, so that you can make adjustments as necessary. One of the key elements of budgeting is tracking your expenses. This can be done by keeping receipts, writing down your expenses in a notebook, or using budgeting apps or software. Tracking your expenses allows you to see exactly where your money is going and make adjustments as necessary. Another important aspect of budgeting is setting financial goals. This can be done by creating a budget that is focused on achieving specific goals, such as saving for a down payment on a house, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund. By setting goals, you can give yourself a clear direction and motivation to stick to your budget. The fourth takeaway from The Motley Fool, is the importance of diversifying your investments. When you diversify your investments, you are spreading the risk of losing money across different types of investments, so if one investment performs poorly, the others can offset that loss. This can help to minimize the overall risk of your portfolio, and increase the chances of achieving your financial goals. One important aspect of diversification is investing in different sectors of the stock market. By investing in different sectors, such as technology, healthcare, and energy, you can reduce the risk of losing money if one sector performs poorly. It's also important to diversify across different types of bonds, such as corporate bonds, and government bonds. Each type of bond has its own set of risks and returns, and diversifying across different types can help to minimize risk. Another important aspect of diversification is investing in different types of assets, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and precious metals. By investing in different types of assets, you can spread your risk across different types of investments and reduce the overall risk of your portfolio. This can help you to achieve your financial goals even if one of your investments does not perform as well as expected. The fifth takeaway from The Motley Fool, you have more money than you think is the importance of being patient and not trying to time the market. The stock market is affected by a wide range of factors, including economic conditions, company earnings, and political developments, and these factors can change rapidly and unexpectedly. 
As a result, trying to predict the market's movements is a risky strategy that can lead to significant losses. It's better to adopt a long-term investment strategy, and to be patient and disciplined in your investing. By being patient, you can take advantage of the long-term growth potential of the markets and not get swayed by short-term fluctuations. This way you can reap the rewards over time, and keep your emotions in check. So guys that is all for today's video, subscribe now to watch more book summaries in more entertaining way than ever before. Thank you for watching.